backrest or where you rest your back on on the seat so this is piece of it and there's probably an easy w easier way to do it as i said hey welcome back to another episode of we we bills today what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the passenger front seat we're gonna take that uh airbag sensor out the airbag is already blown in the seat but i want the harness and then there's some miscellaneous stuff that i took off the driver's seat already, so I'm gonna show you those stuff. But that we end up doing that live like the day before or two days before this video was posted. So, anyways, like, share, subscribe, drop your comments and thoughts down below. Don't forget to check us out on all social media links and make sure you share this video with your friends, your family, and anybody, even your haters. And remember, your haters are your biggest motivators so anyways you already know what we got going on on the channel so i'm not gonna waste no more time we just gonna hop straight into it and then we're gonna talk about some of the stuff that we already did already and then we're gonna do some more stuff right now so let's go all right so some of the stuff that we already end up doing on the live was we basically remove this piece this is the the heater that sits in the back on the backrest or where you rest your back on on the seat so this is piece of it uh most of this these motors right here or so this is for the windshield wiper in the back this is for inside of the seat this is another one that's for from inside of the seat and then this is another one from inside of the seat and this now hold on let me Show you everything a little by a little so then this what you got right here is this goes into the backrest as well and it has a small motor on it so i guess that has a different function as well also alongside with that we have this other um motor right here and then this basically helps the seat to go forward and backward because remember the Ford this Ford Escape only has one powered seat and that's the driver seat. The next thing that we end up taking off and since because it's the powered seat was the basically the whole control on right here. I haven't taken off this but plus I have the wine harness with it alongside the the seat belt buckle to clip in right here. So <clears throat> those are all the stuff that I actually took off now the that's the the so that's the the driver seat and then I'm gonna show you how as a matter of fact I'll show you it right now so you could see how they set up the the heating element inside of this these seats um yeah even I'm just leaving those stuff on top of it for now. So this is the heating element, how it's basically, I want to say it's glued in. So yeah, it's glued in. On the back side of it, you can see it's glued in and all these wires come out. And then you have the connector right there. So for this, honestly speaking, the only thing that I'm, that I'm really trying to get off this seat tonight is this sensor and the other sensor. You know how we did it on the 2013 Ford Escape? We're basically just removing the sensors for that airbag um, sensor and the wiring harness for th that's yellow that runs to the side of the the, um, the seat so we're gonna do that right now I have some of my tools laying over here and on the seat so all we're gonna do is push this chair over and then we're just gonna start get to work so I'm gonna do that real quick and we're gonna start get to work and start turning some wrenches first thing I'm gonna start by is basically start pulling out some of these little clips that, that we have so trying to take off some of them because 
they're just pretty much gonna get in my way, honestly. And I hate when they do get in my way. I'm gonna try to take as much as of these clips out because <clears throat> what I want to do is try to make sure I have because right now how it's looking is well I don't think I'm gonna need a wiring harness but how it's looking is just basically one wiring harness is running through the whole thing but for us tonight what I'm focused on tonight is just this yellow one or this this yellow clip because this is the airbag and then as you can see this other sensor as a whole it comes as one whole basically um wiring harness so i could take it out as well just to make sure that hey we have it or not i really don't care for it that much but uh, let me start working. So I'm gonna see if I could flip this seat <clears throat> and then it could start to get some stuff done right now. Cool. So let's go. Yeah, I kind of cut my finger last night after pulling some some of the stuff off this the other seat so finger kind of hurts but you know can't stop working we got to make sure we give y'all some good content Another easy way <clears throat> how to do it honestly is to you could like these little white tabs right here there should be two of them one on the left one on the right right there's a way how to basically push this down to roll it down a little bit and then you basically push it up and then you could sneak it from uh, up here and then pull it right out so that is an easy way to do it um, what I am going to try to do is I might take more things off this. So, and you already know how I am because I'll be working and then I see five more things to do and I'm going to do them. So I'm always going to keep on finding more and more stuff to do. From this one, we took it off the driver's seat and you can see we broke one clip right there or one or a piece of the clip but <clears throat> now i know to remove it from the airbag is basically you pulling back on this orange piece and once you push it in it's like press it down and it locks in so yeah so i don't know what's the important importance of this sensor to have like liquid inside of it i don't know the importance but anyways i'm trying to go back to stay in focus so let's keep moving so this clip you want to push push down on one side it's like a, a hook in a sense to so push down and get, get the clip in the middle and it's out these I have this thing to remove them, but sometimes they do kind of damage them. So I'm probably doing it the wrong way. But as I said, for this, for me, I really don't care because because I, I know I only care care about the wires, and that's all.
All right, so that should be all the wires, except <clears throat> there's a, a, another sensor right here. And I want to say that's the sensor that goes to the seat belt buckle. All right, I think this one you push down, I want to say, should be like a clip or a hook. I want to say you push down and turn it over. I can't remember. What I was explaining on the other seat, this is the wire for the the heating core or whatever you call that. This is the wire for it. So are the heated elements that's in the seat. So that's why this wire goes into the seat. This one, I'm trying to disconnect this wire. And I don't know why it doesn't want to disconnect. But all right, so pull back, push down, and that's how you get it out. So this, you, cl you, you clip it in, push that forward, clip's not going nowhere. Pull the clip back, press down right here, clip is off. Cool. This other one is probably the one, another one for the motor, I'm not sure. All right. So now that we have that disconnected, I probably need to disconnect the sensor. I think there's a way to slip it off too. All right, but well before I go to there, right? Um, trying to figure out a way so I don't really damage it. But you have this clip here. I could push a screwdriver behind it and basically let it go behind this piece of metal. It, it's gonna be kind of difficult because it feels like a lot of tension is on it. it will just take your time not to break it. Yeah, just take your time not to break it. Even though I don't want it, I'm not going to like break everything, but I kind of want to show y'all how to, to do it. Now, okay. Trying to take my time with it. All right, I think I'm gonna have to do one side, one side first. So I'm put, holding it down, and be careful not to like push the screwdriver in your in your seat because you you are gonna damage your seat if you keep doing it that way. Yeah, so since it's so much springs on it, so much, it's a lot of tension on it. But you see now, it's, it's moving a little bit. Yeah, so, I'm trying to see if I could get it all the way off. But yeah, this is obviously uh, uh, the wrong way how I'm doing it. Yeah. 
Yeah, and all I do is just push it down, push all of them down, and then all of them should, it should be able to come out now. And then now, that's me pushing it down. All right, so now that I pushed it down, you can see I have full access. Even though I messed up the edges and right here, but now I should have full access to take this earbag out. And I should be able to, I, could, I think I could even pull this whole thing out. Right, but now I can't really pull it out because now we got to remove the, the, the other pieces that are holding it down inside the seat. What I'm going to do is lift the seat up. Right there. Hope y'all can see it. So the, uh, the other two that's holding on to the seat are these two pieces right here. This is what's holding on to the seat. Now, another way how to do it, you don't have to do it from right here. Cause since I have this tool, this tool is gonna help me. So, before I even do that, I wanna get this sensor off. I want to say you wiggle it back and forth, but I don't think so. I, I think there's like a little clip behind it or something like that. Yeah, I think there's like, should be like a clip or something that's, that keeps it secured. So, but before I get to that point, what I'm gonna do now is turn the seat over, turn it over. We're gonna flip this side, these this pieces up. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna see if I could do it right now. That's one. That's two. And then you're gonna do the center piece. All I do is just push a screwdriver behind it and then I just pry it up and then because all, all it is is just a, this clip hooking on to these pieces of hooks back here. Right? That's all it is. Now, you should be able to see it. This is a weird way of doing it. But I'm just showing you how I got used to doing it. Because remember, we did it in North Carolina on a piece of table. All right. Anyways, so now all you're going to do is the clip is right here. So I got to have my trim removal tool. And then hopefully I don't damage this thing. So we'll put it over it and make sure you're looking at this to see how you're prying it down. Take your time. What you don't want to do is damage that airbag. Cool. Or damage that sensor. So take your time. So you're going to look again. And this is my preference. You can do it on a table or something like that. This, I'm just kind of doing it lazy. All right, I'm going to turn the seat over so you can see, it, see me do it the right way. Let's go. So you get more than one way how to do, do it the correct way. So back what I was saying now this is up 
remove the removal trim tool what I do is just move it until I get right under that that clip and then pry it and it's out see it so now if you flip it back over all you're doing is just sliding it out so you see that sensor came all the way out now there is a clip that is inside of or not really inside but there's a clip behind this this sensor I want to say it's done this way Honestly don't remember how to take that off. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me try to figure a way how to get it out. So what I'm gonna use is this thin screwdriver and push down behind it. And there's a piece of metal that is inside and then I should be able to like pull up or pull the sensor out. All right, cool. Say yes. All right. Yes, yeah. so you see it comes out real smooth and everything. So what I'm talking about is since this was down, it's locked in with a with a piece of metal sticking or like prying in here. So that's why you have to take a flat screwdriver and then slide it behind and then push on it so you could basically release it and it and it falls out but yes it's a I think it's like water I don't know what is exactly in it but it's something for the airbag as you could see right there but that that is the only thing that we need to take off that I actually really want off this now we're gonna do the airbag sensor or no the, the airbag harness that's in the side of this chair. Now, I'm gonna have to put this seat back together. But you see how, when you look at it, now how you see I was saying, the screwdriver that I have kind of like messed up the edges. But you notice it's not broken or anything because these have metals, are metal, are yeah, like these inside of it. So it's kind of harder to break this type of plastic because it has the metal inside of it. So it, it, it flexes a lot. So that's one of the, the key things to this. All right. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna take the wiring harness out of this too. So this should be a T45. All right, get my wrench that worn harness is gone now the airbag right so that's the next thing we gotta go towards looking at now all right remember yellow cord airbag Man, it's a whole zip down here. All right, where's the little? Use this little uh, screwdriver.
Man, they had a lot of stuff in this seat. All right, cool. So they even got batteries in here. I guess I didn't clean out all the seat, the whole seat good. Anyways, I threw it back down inside of the seat. Uh, now, the airbag is on this side. I think the bolts that I need to remove or on the side, it's like two 10 millimeter bolts, I think it is. I didn't loosen it up 100% all the way because I only need to shift it a little bit. So all I'm doing is feeling for these bolts because I'm not trying to dismantle this whole seat because I've already did the driver one. All right, so since it looks like it's shaking, now, you see? Make sure y'all look in. So this is the airbag wire right here. So this is the airbag wire. This is a little hole that it, that it could fit through. Since I loosened it up, I could push it through, get it up here. Now, now that I get it up here, I think, is it clipped in, in something? Probably is clipped in, in something too. Man. <clears throat> yeah, it's clipped it in to the side of the seat. and it's out so that is all i could ex i could show you how to disconnect it from the airbag itself now watch it so this is normally this is normally facing the seat right so all you got to do is it's clipped in and then you push that yellow tab in or the orange tab in to get it off see it's not coming off to get it off you pull down on the orange tab you pull out and then pull the yellow tab out the whole thing out and that's how you get the connector off so that is the way how to remove this connector so you don't have to break it but that's pretty much it for this seat I don't even think I'm gonna even bother to reinstall this back on it because this the rest of that seat is trash. The only thing I needed out of it was just these parts that I have on the floor and that's all I needed from the Ford Escape seat today. Just these wiring harnesses and the yeah, that's about it. That's all I, all I needed today. Oh, and this airbag sensor. Because remember with, with the 2013 one, this was bad. And it kept on throwing up an airbag code. And once we changed this, we didn't have no more issues. So that is why I decided to pull it out because I don't know if it's bad, but it could be of some it's like it's better to test this to say if we had an airbag light and this was the issue it's better to have this as an extra than to buy a brand new one so that is why i'm happy to have that hey so listen that is pretty much it that we got done today on we rebuilt as, as i said before this was kind of the main objective 
because I wanted this extra part just in case. You see how to do it. You see that I kind of damaged the little clip thing a little bit, but it wasn't too bad and it's not like I broke it, anything. So, and you're not seeing it because it's under the seat. And we got that airbag wire harness and I showed y'all how to remove it and how to install it. So you don't break a clip like how I did on the driver's seat. So that is pretty much it. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can get an alert when we drop a new video, when we post a live, when we drop a new short. You know, I'm trying to make sure that I keep in tune with everybody. I'm gonna try to start to see if I can post more on Instagram and Twitter or X or, and I need to start post more on TikTok as well. So once I kind of have everything on a smooth line, you will get that. I'm trying to make sure you get enough content. So I'm trying to make sure I drop content for y'all every week and so on and so forth. But anyways, thank y'all for watching this video today. Thank y'all for liking. Thank y'all for subscribing. Hey, make sure you share with your friends, your family, and guess what? And even your enemies, because just remember, our enemies is our biggest fans because they wish they could do what we want to do and they are mad that they can't do what we are doing. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated, and guess what? We are out.